There are people out there who like to say they don't want to eat or be around anything that isn't 100% natural, right? A product that's natural because chemical bad, natural good. And I used to buy into this until I finally realized the obvious. Everything is chemical. And the whole natural is good narrative is just childishly reductive and often very wrong. As if we don't already avoid toxic substances that are natural. I mean, are we decorating our houses with poison ivy plants? Are you and I drinking naturally occurring snake venom? Are we eating the natural ricin and castor beans? There's fish meat that can paralyze you or kill you. Thousands of plant species that we want nothing to do with because they're toxic. Is anybody out there barehanding radium? Because it occurs naturally. And what about things that are natural that we have made safer and better through chemical and even gene manipulation? There are crops that survive the elements and insects because of chemical, even genetic manipulation. Those vilified pesticides everybody's always warning about. They keep our food supply from getting decimated before it is harvested. Without pesticides, more than half of the world's crops would likely be lost to insects and diseases. Human-made chemicals are preventing a global food shortage. And here's a news flash: Even those organic farmers out there, they use pesticides. Now, this is a messy conversation. The beneficial and the harmful exist both in nature and in the laboratory. It's all situational. It's a nuanced conversation. It requires patience, perspective, education, elaboration. But the whole natural good claims in this world are just mostly laced with anecdotes, supposition, bias, a whole lot of fear, and even more, marketing. And remember that the all-natural wellness industry is a trillion-dollar business. So the next time all-natural gets plastered on your cereal box or herbal supplement or whatever, just remember that the polio virus is natural. The vaccine was made in a lab. And there's a pretty good chance that that nature scientist you see out there is nothing more than a salesman.